Why should black voters trust you after you have used language like that? Well, first of all, I don't think I've ever been asked a question so in, in such a horrible manner, a first question. <laughs> you don't even say, hello, how are you? Are you with ABC? Because I think they're a fake news network, a terrible network. And I think it's disgraceful that I came here in good spirit. Uh, I love the black population of this country. I've done so much for the black population of this country. Do you believe that Vice President Kamala Harris is only on the ticket because she is a black woman? Well, I can say no. I think it's maybe a little bit different. So uh, I've known her a long time indirectly, not directly very much. And she was always of Indian heritage. And she was only promoting Indian heritage. I didn't know she was black until a number of years ago when she happened to turn black and now she wants to be known as black. So I don't know, is she Indian or is she black? She is always but identified you know as a black woman. I respect she went to a either black one. College. I respect either one, but she obviously doesn't because she was Indian all the way and then all of a sudden she made a turn and she went she became a black person. Just to be clear, sir, do and you I believe think, that I think she somebody is a should look into that too when you ask a continue in a very hostile, nasty tone. You know, it's a it's a group of people, all right? It's a group of people in this world, and they take the same test every four years. But for some reason, they can't get it right. Every four years, they take this test. They make a mistake. Some of us are sitting back watching a large percentage of this group about to make the same mistake again. Only because somebody who previously stated that they're not going to do anything for just the black community. Do you support reparations for black people? Well, listen, again, we had over 200 years of slavery. We had Jim Crow for almost a, a, a century. We had legalized discrimination, segregation, and now we have it, it, segregation and discrimination that is not legal but still exists and is a barrier to progress. We have disparities around housing. We have disparities around education. We have disparities around income. And we have to recognize that everybody did not start out on an equal footing in this country. And in particular, black people have not. And so we have got to recognize that and do something about that and give folks a lift up. That's why, for example, I'm proposing the LIFT Act. Give people who are making $100,000 or less as a family a tax credit, which will benefit and uplift 60% of black families who are in poverty. So by default, it affects black families, but there's not a particular policy for African Americans that you would explore. But no, if you look at the, the reality of who will benefit from certain policies, when you take into account that they're not starting at, at, at the same place and they're not, stand, they're not starting on equal footing, it will directly benefit black children, black families, black homeowners. Because the disparities are so significant. So if we focus on the specific issues that have resulted in the greatest disparities, and we understand that that's part of why we're doing it, Listen, the, the reality also is this. Any policy that will benefit black people will benefit all of society. Let's be clear about that. Let's really be clear about that. So I'm not going to sit here and say, I'm going to do something that's only going to benefit black people. No, because whatever benefits that black family will benefit that community and society as a whole and the country. Right? All that just to answer one question. God help us. And like you heard Trump just said, this person has never identified as black. Her Jamaican daddy had to come out and put her on blast because she wasn't claiming the black side. She was only claiming the Indian side. And when, you, when people say that she's not black, bro, you got to think about it, bro. She was raised by an Indian woman. There's nothing wrong with that. But I believe her dad was in Jamaica, so the only, upbring the, only, the only upbringing that she really had 
is that of a uh, Indian parent. So she don't really mean she, she don't really know what it means to, you know, like okay, let's just say she never threw the cookout. You know what I mean? Because she did go to a, uh, you know what I mean, HBCU, but let's just say she never hosted, you know what I mean, the barbecue or whatever it is. But, bruh, you're about to make the same mistake again just because now this person is choosing to identify as somebody who look like y'all. And she does. But, bro, we got to hold her to what she said. She was not claiming black before. So if y'all put this person in that White House, bro, we're going to get another four years of what we got now. That's it.